Now, if you wanted to have a health bar for each one of these, what we could do is we could move this bar outside of the play area, like so. And when there has been a collision, we can set the position. So select position equal to this guy, and we could put it about there. Now, obviously, you would have this select position box, but because I'm using a second monitor here, it's jumping over there. So what you could do is you could set it to whatever you wanted manually. So let's uh, set it to 40 because it's going to be um, the box would be about yay big. Um, so there we go. It, when there is a collision, the counter moves to that position. So what we can what we can do is set counter and retrieve data from the object and then select values A to M and you want this one here so set it to the value of enemy now you need to make sure these are in order so if you double click it um, you, you destroy the, the bullet first then we add one to the alterable value then we set the position of the counter and set the counter equal to the health in case you've never looked at the order before, to get back, you just click on the event list and it'll bring you back. Um, so what we've done now is we have set that all up. So if I go play like so, and if I bring this over here, when we shoot, the bar appears. And as you can see, it increases until it hits 10 and then it's gone and it moves based on which enemy you shoot. And if you notice, we, we'd hit him three times at the top. If I shoot again, he's already got four. So I bring him close to a full bar. So you can definitely see, shoot this guy down here. The bar appears for him. And then if I shoot this guy again, as you can see, his bar's almost full and he hits 10. So the system does work. Obviously, you'd probably want to uh, make some kind of event like every three seconds move the the counter back up out of the play area because obviously it doesn't look very good. But um, ultimately, you can uh, you can create some quite handy effects with that. So if it's a say a Streets of Rage style game, you can have the bar appear above them, or you could have it in the uh, GUI at the top of the screen, and so on. Now. As you can see, that was using the counter by adding to the counter, so it was it was increasing from left to right. Now, what you may want to do is do the opposite way. So, what we want to do is it's how the counter is handled here. So, we set it to the alterable value of A. Now, if you're going to have a standard health amount, so say 10 for every enemy, then you could just go um, instead of set, subtract from counter and and set it to 10 and then subtract from um, but in this case we don't want to do that um, we may want to so at the start of the frame come in here and set the alterable value B which we'll do in a drop down here to so this is now our max health this is the health that they have in at the most so there we go. At the start of the frame, every single enemy has an alterable value B, which is equal to 10. And that is the same amount as when the alterable value A equals that, then we destroy. So we can now edit this, and we can say if it's equal to, and we can go this value, alterable value B. So now when alterable value A is equal to or greater than alterable value B, which is the maximum um, health, then we destroy it. And then we can reflect that in here. So if I double click in, um, you'll see we've got the set counter here. So we want to set that now instead of alterable value A to alterable value B. And then we want to insert another one. And in do 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 we want to subtract from the counter 
the value, alterable value A. So we need to make sure that those are in order. So first of all, we set the counter to the maximum value. In fact, we also want to um, insert into that to set the maximum value also equal to alterable value B. So what we're doing here is we are setting the maximum value, so that's the full length of the bar, to whatever the max health is. And then we also set the alterable value to the, to the alterable value B, which is its maximum health, so that's full health. And then we subtract from the counter the value of alterable, alterable value A. So in other words, it's current health. So now if I go back in here and play this, you'll see now that the bar goes down as it should until eventually they get to no health and it's gone. So you can now see that health bars work how they should. And so that's how you can create um, multiple enemies using the single active object type and you can set them to have independent health bars or independent health.